Right, we've come to the second 4x4 action day we've been on. So, and there's a lot more people here today. Um, it's a bit wet, it's a bit boggy out. Um, so we'll have a look at some of the cool vehicles. There's, there's all sorts today. So obviously we're in the stick. Um, there's a lot of old school defenders. Uh, I think we saw a couple of Suzuki's out there. Yeah, I think there's a Jimny. Um, there's, a, there's a couple of people who watched the channel and watched us do it and thought, hey, that looks fun, we'll have a go. So that's really cool. Um, it's good. It's, it's going to be a good day out because we're in the fresh air. There's not a lot you can do with this virus thing going around. So, right. What are we trying to do today, George? We have not changed anything on the car other than the roof rack. Um, so we're going to have a go today and see if we can do better. So what are we going to try and do? Low traction launch. Last time we got stuck in the mud and our tyres are not serious off-road so it's sort of understandable We're, we didn't use our low traction launch we got towed out which was a bit embarrassing so we are going to try and use the low traction launch so we're going to try and get ourselves stuck so that we can then use it and see if it will do stuff the other thing we're going to try and do we did sort of half get up the steps last time so we're going to go to the steps we're going to try and get up the step but we're going to try two things we're going to try rock mode what's it called rock, rock and crawl rock crawl Something mode like because it is actually we were in muds and ruts we're also going to try the terrain response 2 today which is something i paid extra for on our car and what it should give us is apparently it gives us all the wealth of knowledge of all the test drivers and they tested different things and different conditions so the car should recognize our uh, or its circumstances, it should recognise what situation it's in, what slipping, how's it slipping, what articulation, and it should set the vehicle up as as if it was a off-road expert in here. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see and see if that gets out of trouble. Right, George, have a little scan along around the outside. Oh, you might not better see it. Yeah, I can look in that mirror there, and you, you can, can see some mirror. stuff. That's a cool shot. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of defenders. A lot of defenders. Uh, yeah, there's so many cars this time. A lot more than last time. So, so obviously we watched the Car Wow video last night, didn't we, George? Yeah. And he did some interesting tests comparing the old we the old Defender. Oh, can you put it in uh, Muds and Ruts? Muds and Ruts for me, George. Uh, yeah. That's it. There you Ooh, go. Which one do I spin? Here you go, Muds and. You can touch. It's touch screen as well, actually. I like to do a bit analog. Right. So we'll go in there. We'll show you around. So in this video, we're going to just try and introduce you to some of the other cars have a look what fun take some george is going to try and put the drone up again so we'll put the drone up and have a look oh here we go here we go oh this is where the tires now get filled with mud and oh. it's a drift car yes oh here we go let's give him a bit of space This is just getting onto the course. <laughs> this is getting there. But it's, I'd say it's definitely muddier than last time. Definitely. Right, leave him a little bit of space, George. Right now. Now we've got a hill descent now, so as we go down here now, we don't need to worry too much. We need to worry about steering. Oh, this is where we got stuck before, George. Well, oh, was it here? Yeah, it was here. We came oh, down there. Yeah, I see it, I see it. And then, so let's try not to get stuck. I was going up there, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, we got someone filming. Whoa! Alright, let's try and... Right, let's try and get through here. Oh, we're in the rut, we're in the rut, we're in the rut. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoa, this isn't even... I'm not even meant to have started yet. Yeah. Right, he's trying to avoid the ruts. Should we try and avoid the ruts? I don't feel like we've really prepared much for this. Oh. Trouble is, we just stay out in the Defender and... Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, because we're leading the crew. Look, we're, everyone's following us. So if we, Whoa. if we, I, that, I think what's the defender behind us might have just span a little bit. Really? Yeah. If we goof up, we're going to look proper bad. Everyone's going to be laughing. So yeah. Anyway, we don't mind. We're not worried. We'll be right. So I think we're going to stop here. We're going to have a little briefing, and then we'll get out. And George will try and sneak the drone out later as well, if possible. If possible, um, we'll try and get some sneaky drone shots. Right, here we go, let's pull up and then we'll we'll get into groups and have a little brief and then so this is the main course. We're gonna go up there, the steps were down over there. It's quite cool coming the second time because we can remember, right? Let's all yeah. let's all pull up nice and neat together and let's go and uh, listen to Adrian.
Right, so we're going down the steps. So we're on hill descent. We've got a hill descent on. Now it's hard to see from this, but there is a set of concrete steps that we did them last time. I'll get another and angle like, on them later. And now uh, I'm just trying to look, but I've lost my steering angle, haven't I, George? I can't see which way my steer is actually pointing. Can you put the other 4x4 display up? Oh, I shouldn't need to clutch, so there we go. Now it's the car's just doing everything for us. There we go. Perfect. Up the steps. comes right right so this is the tricky one this is the tricky we got stuck on this before just gotta send it let's get the momentum I'm sending it I'm sending it I'm sending it oh, I did it oh. auto terrain response helped you out there <laughs> there's another car coming oh, that's madness uh, it's absolute madness. Yeah, so we had the auto, so we did what we couldn't do, and in, I would say, in fiercer conditions as well. Oh, don't go down there, mate. There's four people following me. No, 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 no. What's happening? The, the guy behind's trying to go down that slope now. Right, let's get out of the way here. Right, we're going to try and go down here. We're going to go through that way and up round the other way this time. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, the cameras have got muddy. Have they? Yeah. We got, we got, they do well though. Yeah. Considering what we've been through, those cameras are doing fierce well. They stay fairly dry. But I think the detection's having not a great time. Whoa. Slowly now. We can, if we 
get round, we can see everyone else having some fun. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Are we stuck? Stuck. Right, I think we're stuck. So we're in muds and ruts. We're not in auto. So we're, let's have a look then, George. So we ready? Yeah, we're stuck. Low traction launch. Right, let's go. Press that and then again. One again. There you go, let's scroll down. There Low there it traction is. launch. Right, let's follow it. Give us some instructions. To activate, ensure the following vehicle stationary, foot off accelerator, and we've got auto. You need to enable our auto. auto. So let's go on this one then. Press auto. Oh, press auto. Right, so we've got foot off accelerator, we've got auto. Right, press it. Go. Start low traction control launch. Oh. Fair enough, it got out. So it got stuck and we're out. I'm trying to do a turn around in these ruts here, but oh no. We're not comfortable. Straighten your wheels up. Let's rock it. So I've got low traction launch, and if I do start low traction launch here, it's still. There we go. Start low traction launch. And I try and apply the accelerator gently. But it's not having it. But anyway, it sounds like recovery's on its way. Recovery's here. Oh, is it? Now, if we had a winch, I reckon we could winch against something like that tree there, possibly, and that would just we could just pull the front end round. So, and what we're doing here is rather than driving and pulling, is get a much gentler force on the winch. So he's letting his winch out and having a look. There we go. The fender's out. It's free. Thank you very much. All right, off we go. Right, we need to get through this. That rut looks deep. We got a big lot of water. Now we gotta get up and out the other side. Whoa! <laughs> that is mental. All right, let's keep it going. So we're going down a pretty steep hill right now. It's hard to see, but yeah, I mean, like you, you just take your hands off. We've got the hill descent control set. It's uh, like five miles an hour, well, four miles an hour, you can see. And it, we're without braking or worrying about anything. We can just let it drive it's too itself easy. down. It's too easy. Quite cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> right. Easy. 
Right, let's see how the old boys do it, George. That did that too well, didn't it? Just to get up this <laughs> Look what that's going to be well, isn't it? Right, so the interesting thing is it does stay in auto. It stays in auto even though we've stopped. Right, we're going to try and do this little reed bit before. What worries me here is, is there's quite a slip and if we slip sideways too much, we're at quite an angle here. Or we're going to end up in the reeds. I can get you our approximate angle in a second. Yeah. Uh, approximately so, at 11 degrees, minus 11. Oh, that's it, it's turned it, it's turned it, we've done it, we've done it. God, I don't want to end up in those reeds, the back end's going to slide. I can't really see much from here, to be honest. Brilliant. Yep, did that like a dream. Bossed it. But what have we got over here? Well, I can't even see what's down there. Whoa. Right, we're going to launch the drone. We decided there's like a second purpose to this roof rack. Um, it's got like, it looks like a little mini helipad on the back. There we go, there's the drone, he's off. We'll get some drone footage. So George has decided he can sit up there, mission control. Right, we're heading home now. We've had a good, fun day, but what have we learnt? Right, um, terrain response two, when it's auto on the terrain response mode, when you press this one and it goes to auto there. Brilliant thing about that, it stayed on when we stopped and started the car, so we didn't have to keep remembering. Um, and where we had a mixture of conditions, where we were on like gravelly slopes and mud and ruts, and we were doing those steps, I think that was worth the money. I think we paid 700 pounds for the terrain response to, and we only had to get towed out once a day, and that was, to be honest, bad driving. That's when I got it stuck sideways on between two ruts. So I think we've done better today. The rock crawl, now you didn't see this, George, because you were out filming. When we had it on rock crawl, doing the steps, that seemed to do the steps better, I would say. Now, what I did do was when I put it on rock crawl, I turned the traction control off on the second attempt and that seemed to allow me to get more speed up as I hit the steps 
and the guy Adrian there said it seemed like I almost got some air so we'll have to have a look at that and see whether I that was second time it allowed me to sort of get going and get a bit more speed up as I hit the step so so that's an interesting thing to remember as well so not only have you got all the different modes although you could boil those down to water if you get the terrain response too you also need to think about um, whether you turn your traction control off and whether that's a good idea or a bad idea tires next so I think the next thing we now I think we've done the limit of what we can do with this car with the all-terrain tires we need to get some slightly more off-road tires so we need to find some 18 inch wheels that go with off-road tires so that'll be our next thing um, but the great thing about the Defender is you've got all those guys there and total respect to them with some beautiful machines and all jacked up and everything. But we've driven the car there. We've driven it back on the motorway. We've got the music on. We've got the temperature controlled cabin. It's quiet as you can hear as we're driving along. Um, so I still am pretty impressed with the Defender, the range of capability you've got. Um, one last thing, we didn't get too much. There was an increase in wind noise with the roof rack we fitted. Um, on the motorway, but I wouldn't say it's not deafening, is it, George? No, it's not, it's a little bit of a shh on there. Um, so there we go, that's all fun for the day. Back to work next week and uh, get the car clean. Um, if you want to go along, there was another guy there, Rory, who'd seen it on our YouTube channel and he went along with his old Defender and did really well. Um, but if you want to go along, check out Facebook 4x4 Days, I'll put the link in the uh, description below. Um, really easy going environment you can do sort of what you like it's not a pay and play savage off-road it's just a chance for you to do as much or as little as you want with your 4x4 so check that out and check out when the next day is 30 pounds it's just near bristol airport um so there we go 